I'm uh, Father Chris Metropolis. I'm the executive director of the Orthodox Christian Network, which has been in existence for uh, 20 years. It is an agency of the Assembly of Canonical Orthodox Bishops in the United States of America. I don't think there are many challenges for it. I think one of the most important things to do is to rise to the challenge and to see it as an instrument to be used to share the message of Christ. Um, I don't think we have to be afraid of it, but I think we have to use it for the best. We talked about some statistics. Um, 7.4 billion people in the world, 3 billion on the internet, and they're on it 11 hours per day on average. So that's a place that the Orthodox Christian Church must be, in my opinion. I remember you told in your presentation that uh, um, people, uh, this uh, internet and these technologies give us an opportunity to bring um, God's word to those uh, who are who live, don't, uh, who live not in Christian countries, for example, in Syria and yes. these uh, yes, yes. areas. Yes. And um, so, what's your attitude to, um, to all this that happens well, in it's these this, countries? It's this thing here. This uh, this thing now called the smartphone. You have this. People don't have. Some of them don't even have phones because their homes have been destroyed. But they all have these little things they carry around. So they don't have chairs, they don't have homes, they don't have cars, but they have a home. So that's where the church at least can give, they're thirsty, they need living water. And there we can give hope. I mean, people in Indonesia, which is mainly a Muslim country, um, they don't stand the chance to survive as Christians. But quietly, in their home, they can listen. They can read, they can pray. So that's sort of the church in the air, if you will, going to them. Because they can't. Syria destroyed. Uh, the Philippines, uh, Manila, all these places, uh, Iraq, they're being destroyed. Now, for the others who are in countries that are Christian, the church really is only there, they've come to the church maybe once a week now. Whereas our grandparents and my great-grandparents grew up, the, I mean, the church was here, and they lived right around it. Now, scattered. So what happens now is this is a way, different times of the week, for people to be reconnected with the church. I think that's the, the gift that God has given us. If we use it, we have to use it. And why, personally, you came here, and why this occasion is important for you? What are your expectations about it? Uh, OCN, uh, the OCN, the Orthodox Christian Network, was asked to come here to work with Pemtusia and the site from Russia, Blogosphere, I believe it's called. And uh, we were asked to be the first, to be the initiators of this. I think the reason is that our reach, we reach, uh, example, during Holy Week, our social media footprint was over 7 million people. So seeing the size of what we're doing, and we've been doing it for 20 years, they said, you know, maybe these people can offer something. So we came here humbly, to be a part of the first World Conference, and we are now setting the groundwork for many more conferences in different parts of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very you. much.